Alright, so. Don't mind all the noise pulling up the chair. Welcome to my terraria. I only have one character saved on the cloud so I can play here at work. That was it. That's my character. That's my world. So I spawned in my rainbow room. One trophy. That's all I've gotten so far. A bunch of different rooms. My NPCs. Pumpkin bathtub. I don't know why. Just because I could. Uh, this is what I was talking about by all my labeled chests. And stuff in bottles. Statues. Dyes. Electrical stuff and wiring, actuators, traps, hard mode crafting, and all the pixie dust and stuff. Actual ore bars, just the bars. I have a separate one for ores. Right here. Wooden walls. Oh, yeah, this was another thing I was talking about with the labeling. On PS3, it's right here. I notice you don't have this for some odd reason. I don't know why. But then you can label it, whatever. Here, I change that to the in here as well. Some slab. My fun thing. We can bubble wands. I like the confetti gun, it's pretty funny. Uh, I had to switch hooked up to a heart statue just because I wanted to see how it was. This is also my showcase room of the banners and statues that I've gotten so far. Still kind of working on the lighting and how to get it right because there's more statues down here. Uh, didn't empty out my inventory from yesterday. trophies over here I showcase them. either powerful weapons or my favorite ones like the star fury the meteor gun sun fury blade flail blade whatever that is uh, looks like a superman shirt that's actually just a blue robe like what this one here is a diamond robe completed mining outfit molten meteorite uh, I think this is mithril because this was my spider armor. Until I watched the video, guys. We re recommended that I get spider armor. Put the spider staff. Gives me five spider minions. But I'm still working on this part. Um, I moved all my crafting stations to here. Because I know there's a lot more I still have to get. So, yeah. But uh, yellow and blue stained glass. Go blue. My mixing room. I haven't got the, the last part of the mixing part set up. Got like pumps and whatnot right down here somewhere. And then an actuator switch. When I originally started, I had all of my NPC characters uh, ground level spread out like this until I consolidated into the base that I got now. Uh, revamped everything from stone brick to stone slab bricks. Some places, as you can tell, I haven't completely finished yet. This is the one section of my house that's like fast regen. Look at my heart lantern, the bonfire, and the honey you can stand in. So yeah, I mean, it's not that big. I mean, I guess it's big, considering the fact that I can't zoom out at all. My gamer tag. I'm going to actually put these in before I put in... Uh, here's the lava pits I have on top of my house for when freaking people come. 
Uh, Serenity, the Neo Fine World. I'm a big Brown Coat fan. Uh, some people have been told or said that farming wood was going to be important because not all wood is the same or stays like regular wood once hard mode is created. So, regular wood, going mushrooms, uh, rich mahogany, I think. Freaking mud and jungle grass. Ooh, a bunch of pumpkins. And then hollow trees. Well, I mean, as you can see too, I have an overabundance of weaponry to choose from. I, so far, my favorite ones are the Legendary Icicle, my Goose Face Saber, and the KO Can. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of fishing, but I have done it. Um, yeah. Three Golden Keys, one Shadow. I have a jungle key mold, but I haven't made one yet. I haven't beat Pantera at all. I haven't even got past the mechanical twins or the mechanical bosses. Blue Flay Saber is pretty good. It's a strong weapon. Especially early on in hard mode. This is my little battle arena I made for fighting the eye and uh, whatever pre hard mode bosses I want to fight. Nothing in here. I've only used it like twice for the many times that I beat the eye of Cthulhu. Still hasn't given me a damn trophy for it yet. Uh, let's see. Pick it up. It's one of the reasons I like the icy sickle. This right here was supposed to be a battle arena for the Destroyer, um, making it possible for me to take on the Destroyer with only having to deal with the probes that go through the wall. Uh, apparently, I don't have enough hearts since I don't have golden hearts yet, but I mean, like I said, I am a huge fan of heart lanterns and bonfires, so they're spread out through the wall everywhere. <laughs> or any place I have major invested, which isn't very much really. I mean, it's not that complicated, I guess. The actuated dirt. Switch. Over here. My dart traps. And a water candle. Here, on the other hand, I do have some stuff. And raids. I mean, so far, like I said, it's the only thing I really had a problem with invading my base. Well, you definitely get a lot of money if you spend enough time here. I don't know, I don't think it's. I think it's too big. But this was to account for the fucking unicorns that jump and. The herplings and the darklings or derplings or whatever the hell they're called when they show up. I haven't gotten a whole lot into the wiring and the traps yet, but I mean, it's a good start, I guess. Like I said, I really haven't explored. I mean, I've done everything along the top pretty much. Anywhere close to me, anyway. Pretty whole sections that I haven't done anything with. Looks like a hand. Yeah, I just freaking filled in that part because I wanted to take on uh, the brain, I think it was. I don't remember what. I need a travel version. Yeah, I mean, I explored everything just about underneath my base. Immediately underneath my base anyway. Still working on some of the crimson stuff. I had a rail system put in, but Sully was really taking it out. I'm going to switch it to underground. Keep getting hit by fucking meteors that fall. 
was the sky bridge up at the top was how I first found my first floating island. Who's supposed to have one right there? All the rest of them though. Gravity potions. But, I mean I've been through all the dungeon. And I've been working on exploring this area here. I thought about sending up another uh, enemy farm here. But I haven't been back to work on it in a couple of weeks. <laughs> Freaking hollow is red and white wildfire. That was the first one I set up in the hollowed underground. Or the underground hollow. I don't know how that works. Um, there's the hell bridge. I ended up mining straight through a building. Yeah, freaking started by throwing a doll into the lava there. And then fighting all the way back. That's where I beat him. Which is weird, in fact, that's almost at my base. But yeah, there's a zoomed out look at my base so far. I don't know what to do with the big dirt area here. But I mean, I made sure I made left myself enough room to build anything else I needed to. And I won't consider myself an expert, but given the fact that I've read a lot, read a lot, or read, or watched, sorry, a bunch of videos on the game, I feel like I've got a, a hand up on my girlfriend since she's still pretty much doing things by whim. I know she definitely has more of her world explored than mine, but I think she's got pretty much all of it. But like I said, that's my base. Use my mirror, go home. But yeah, I like the rainbow brick wall. It's pretty cool. Definitely a different look. Weapons, accessories, armor. Now you get so much accessories in this game that I have to move stuff to another freaking chest. Like, yeah, there's the key mold. Hard moon charm turns to werewolf. A lot of combined stuff. And then gun types. Things I only have one. Extra banners. Extra crafting stations. Extra furniture. Got all the gold stuff from Pirate Invasion. Carts that I've taken out so far. Explosives. Not very full. Health manners. Fire. Some antenna stars. Fishing stuff. I got a crate I haven't opened yet. Furniture. A lot of stuff. I am a huge fan of demon torches. Just in the fact that they change colors. The ammo. Yet. Crafting items. Piggy bank, I don't keep anything in because I keep all my money in my safe. But yeah, I played this for like the first three or four weeks. Well, probably up to the first month before I realized I was throwing, you know, important stuff away. All my plants and seeds and shit. Summons and pets. Yeah, 
there's the snowman. That's one. I have one mount. That's that one. I mean, I have a lot of summons I could take on enemies if I wanted. Armor. All the three tiers like this are all completed. I just don't have mannequins to me. Put them on. Collection of weapons. Some I've gotten. Like these ones I've gotten from beating the bee like four or five times. Crafted book. It's alright. Doesn't really do much for a hard mode though. Never got into bows. My girlfriend made it. Actually, I think I bought it. Snow and ice blocks. It's both the pink and red ice. Regular ice, snow and snow ice. Potions. Yeah, I collect potions, but I don't use them. I use more recall potions in the past than I have anything else. Other blocks. Contain. Same stuff. There's a rainbow brick. Yeah, you get those from rainbow slimes. Living fire. I haven't used these for anything yet. Still debating on what I'm going to use them for. But building as I go. I have lanterns, pressure plates. Yeah, this is it. Like I said, it's not much. But, it's what I call home. There's my character. Yeah, I would have to mess with on, but like I said, I switched this back to take on the destroyer after a video I watched. But, dies. I know a trophy for the PS3 was to have five buffs. I've come to realize that that is the campfire, a heart lantern, uh, standing in honey, a uh, pet, and a minion. Doesn't encounter uh, potion, increased buffs, and things of that sort. I also like the idea of having different walls for each character or each room, so at least I know where I'm going. Or, yeah, I just look for the one room with obsidian wall or disc wall or cactus or gold mushroom or gold. <laughs> But yeah, fan of like demon torches just in the fact that they change colors like that. Haven't done any fishing missions, because like I said I don't like to fish. But yeah, this is it. And it's nothing fancy. But like I said, I'm still new. I have an actuated wall so I can go straight out here. Nothing in these are just for show. They haven't even been labeled anything different. But eventually I make one of each kind of chest and then put it down here and then make each of the banners and each of the statues. I have them split into like you know, useless stuff like these instead of those. But that is it. I will let you go because I'm getting a phone call. Take it easy, man.